guys that's right i am back today i have a new tutorial to show you i will be doing these album work keychains which is so cute if you want to see how i did this keep on watching <laughs> So as you guys can see right now, I am searching for the particular album work that I would like to put in my keychain. I decided to go with Monica Don't Take It Personal. It was such a random, random idea to do this and record it, but I love how it turned out. But right now I am searching the song, the album work to make sure that I am correct because I knew what album it was, but I wasn't for sure, for sure. But I decided to search it up anyway, and I am finding the artwork to put into the keychain and all i did was screenshot it um on my computer i if you have a macbook how you screenshot you will press shift command and four that's how i screenshot on my mac and i saved it to my desktop so that's what i'm doing right now here i am making sure i select the image as a print and cut once i uploaded it into design space um i did not have the cricut cut it out just because i rather just cut it by hand to make sure the measurements were properly um were basically correct so i decided to just cut it by hand once the um artwork was printed out on my printer so right now i am uploading the design into my project space Cricut Design Space. I basically do all of my work in Cricut Design Space unless I am doing sublimation, but I will be introducing you guys to that shortly. Um, but yeah, I am basically going to upload the artwork into Cricut Design Space. And I'm not going to lie, guys, the first time I did this, I messed up completely, but um, I did get it right <laughs> eventually. But as you can see, I am adjusting the artwork. Um, I looked up on Amazon the measurements that the keychain was, but it was not right. Like, it was not right. And I should have known, but I was like, oh, let me do it anyway. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm adjusting the artwork to what I think can fit. And I chose my text. Um, of course, you will put the song and then you will put the artist name. Um, you don't need to put the um, album. Uh, you don't have to put the album name because it's basically already there for you so as you can see I am choosing the text and making sure I get that together to complete my design
So right now I am choosing the same music player that I used in my last tutorial. If you guys don't know, I purchased the file from Etsy. I will also leave the description, the link in my description box. If you guys want to check it out and use it for yourself, um, I just uploaded it again to Design Space. In order for me to get my album outwork to print out in one piece, I actually attached all of the items that I used to complete the artwork together and then I flattened it. That allowed me to print it out in one piece and again, as I stated, I did not have the machine cut it. I cut it by hand. And if you guys remember earlier in the video, I stated that the measurements that I found on Amazon were incorrect this is where you guys see me mess up at i did the first two which is the first two that you see in the front um those are the measurements that the amazon gave me but as you can see that is completely off so i decided to just size it down which is what you see in the back to get kind of an idea because i kind of like gazed at it and i was like hmm maybe it's this size and this that's how i came up with the size that you see behind then i proceeded to print the artwork i did not mirror the image because it was going straight into the keychain which is an acrylic keychain that you can see through so it was no need for me to mirror it i then pressed continue and decided to print this artwork let's see what we have i sent it straight to my printer and of course i use the hp desk jet i don't use anything fancy i purchased the printer from amazon um it's no longer available but if you would like to get a similar printer i will leave it down in the description box of course everything that i've used will be in the description box so don't forget to check that out so the next step will be printing so right now i am putting the transfer film inside of the printer as you can see it printed out great the settings that i used was photo paper and i left it at normal because i found myself messing up when i put it on best to try to get that vibrant look but it was smearing really really bad so i just used the option to print at photo paper and i left it at normal and these were the results i got as you can see those are the measurements that amazon told me but of course it didn't work so i used the small ones Remember I told you guys I did not have the cookie machine cut it out. I cut it by hand to make sure I got plenty of the measurements that I wanted to be fit inside of the keychain. So right now that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting it out to try to get a good look to see if it will fit properly. And that's what I'm doing guys. As you guys can see, these artwork album keychains came out amazing. If you guys would like to see more from me, just let me know. And as you can see, I made more, guys. They were so fun and easy to make. I enjoyed this completely. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know what else you would see from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching.